Hello and welcome to Daily Prelims Practice. Here we are going to take up the MCQs based on today's newspaper of The Hindu and Indian Express, which are important from UPSC Prelims exam perspective. The topics for today's discussion are listed on your screen. So let us start the discussion. The first question of today's discussion is based on this news article, which has appeared on page number 12 in Indian Express. It basically talks about the growing dissent within Monetary Policy Committee in which one out of six members have voted against the hike in the policy rate, which is also known as repo rate, in order to control inflation. As you must be aware that repo rate is a quantitative measure of RBI by which it controls the credit supply in the economy. As this topic is directly related with inflation, it becomes important for our discussion. Before solving the practice MCQ, have a look at this question which has appeared in the UPSC prelims exam 2013. In this, UPSC has asked which one of the following is likely to be the most inflationary in its effect. Out of these four options, you have to identify the correct answer. Just try a hand on this. The practice question of today's discussion says, consider the following statements. In this, you have to identify the correct statements. The first statement says, the central government in consultation with RBI determines the inflation target in terms of wholesale price index once in five years. The second statement says, the expansionary monetary policy reduces the inflation levels in the country. The first statement which is given here is incorrect because under section 45ZA of RBI Act, the central government in consultation with RBI determines the inflation target in terms of consumer price index and not the wholesale price index. And the second statement is also incorrect because the expansionary monetary policy increases the credit supply in the economy. And you know when the credit supply increases, there are high chances that inflation in the country will increase. So this statement also becomes incorrect and the answer to this question becomes D which is neither 1 nor 2. And the answer to the previous year question is also D because the creation of new money in the economy is the most inflationary in its effect. The next question of today's discussion is based on this news which has appeared on page number 14 in The Hindu. This news article says India is planning to build more nuclear power plants in the coming years. Now you must be wondering that why India is focusing more on nuclear power. As there is a growing thrust towards the production of clean energy, the major countries across the world are focusing on clean energies such as solar energy, wind energy and nuclear energy. And UPSC has previously asked many questions on renewable energy and nuclear power. So you must be aware about the current status of nuclear energy in India. In the year 2020, UPSC has asked a question on nuclear reactors. And it says, in India, why are some nuclear reactors kept under IAEA safeguards while others are not? From the given four options, you have to identify the correct answer. In this regard, we have framed one practice MCQ on nuclear power. It says, consider the following statements with reference to nuclear power production in India. In this, you have to identify the correct statements. The first statement says, about 5% of total power generated in India is derived from nuclear energy. The second statement says, thorium is the most widely used fuel by nuclear power plants in India. You can pause this video and try to solve this question. The first statement of this question is incorrect as nuclear power is the fifth largest source of electricity in India and the share of nuclear power in the total electricity generation in India is about 3%. So this statement becomes incorrect. The second statement is also incorrect as many of you must be aware that it is uranium and not thorium which is widely used as a fuel by nuclear power plants in India. So the answer to this question becomes D which is neither 1 nor 2. And the answer to the previous year question is B. Further, the share of different sectors in the electricity generation in India is like this. First one, coal. The second one is renewable energy. The third one is hydroelectricity. The fourth one is natural gas. And the fifth, as we have discussed, is nuclear energy. Just try to remember this trend in the increasing or decreasing order. The next question of today's discussion is based on this news which has appeared on the page number 12 in The Hindu. It basically talks about India's plan to install 500 gigawatts of renewable energy by 2030 and it involves a cost of 2.4 trillion as per the recent estimates of Central Electricity Authority. As a part of our climate commitments, India has said that we will source roughly half of our energy needs from non-fossil fuel sources. 
as renewable energy is an important area in today's world which is witnessing the climate change due to increasing greenhouse gases which are directly sourced from fossil fuels so this area becomes important for our discussion in the year 2015 upsc has asked a question on renewable energy and it says with reference to indian renewable energy development agency which of the following statements are correct in this you have to identify the correct statements just try to solve this question on the similar lines we have designed one practice mcq which says consider the following statements with respect to nationally determined contributions of india in this you again have to identify the correct statements the first statement says india has set target to increase the non fossil fuel energy capacity to 450 gigawatts by 2030 the second statement says india aims to reduce emission intensity by 35% by 2030 the first statement is incorrect as we have discussed in the description that india has increased its commitments to increase the share of non fossil fuel energy capacity to 500 gigawatts by 2030 the second statement is also incorrect as india aims to reduce the emission intensity by 45% by 2030 so the answer to this question becomes d which is neither one nor two and the answer to the previous year question is c which is both one and two the next question of today's discussion is based on this news which has appeared on the page number 6 in the hindu it basically talks about the importance of bimstech in the south asia it further says in present scenario it is difficult to revive sark for the regional cooperation so bimstech is the next best option for the regional cooperation and for the south asia regional order as upsc has asked many questions on intergovernmental bodies such as sark so this area becomes important for our discussion as upsc in the year 2014 has asked a question on brics in this you have to identify the correct statements you can pause this video and try to solve this question in the similar lines we have designed one practice mcq on bimstech and it says with reference to bimstech consider the following statements the first statement says the permanent secretariat of bimstech is situated at kathmandu in nepal the second statement says bimstech free trade area framework agreement has been signed by all members except bhutan in this you have to identify the correct statements whenever you come across the terms like permanent secretariat of any intergovernmental organization you should be very cautious to solve that statement as you can see in this statement the location has been mentioned incorrectly the permanent secretariat of bimstech is in dhaka and not in kathmandu so it becomes incorrect and the second statement is also incorrect as the free trade agreement is signed by all the nations including bhutan hence the answer to this question becomes d which is neither one nor two and the answer to this question is b which is two only as the first summit of brics was held in russia and not in brazil and south africa joined brics in 2010 so this statement is correct moving on to the next question which is based on this news which has appeared on the page number 1 in the hindu it basically says that rbi has increased the policy repo rate by 35 basic points and also scaled down the gdp growth hopes for the year to 6.8% from 7% further rbi governor mr shakti kanta das has said that the worst of inflation is over for the country but the slowdown which world is facing can dent the growth prospects of india as rbi is an important institution of indian economy you must be aware about the key facts associated with rbi and upsc has asked many questions on rbi in previous years before solving the practice mcq have a look at this question which has appeared in the upsc prelims exam 2021 it says in india the central bank's function as the lender of last resort usually refers to which of the following here you have to identify the correct statements from the given three statements in the similar lines we have designed one practice mcq on rbi and it says consider the following statements with reference to rbi statement 1 credit control and rationing of credit comes under quantitative technique used by rbi to regulate the credit in the economy the second statement says financial stability report is biannual report released by rbi in this you have to identify the incorrect statements you need to be very careful whether the question is asking about the correct statements or incorrect statement the first statement in this question is incorrect as credit control and rationing of credit 
is a qualitative technique and not a quantitative technique. The second statement is correct as the financial stability report is released twice a year by RBI. As you have to identify the incorrect statements in this question, the answer to this question becomes A which is 1 only and the answer to the previous year question is B which is 2 only. The last question of today's discussion is based on this news which has appeared on the page number 14 in Indian Express and it says recently a team of astronomers has recorded a rare astronomical event involving a binary merger emitting long gamma ray burst twinned with kilonova emissions. It has also opened new avenues for scientific research and as we all are aware that phenomena which are associated with the universe are important for the scientific research and UPSC has previously touched many topics of such kind of research. As you can see in the year 2019, UPSC has asked about black holes. In this, you have to identify the correct answer and the question says, recently scientists observed the merger of giant black holes billions of years away from the earth. What is the significance of this observation? In this, you have to identify the correct option from the given four options. In the similar lines, we have designed one practice MCQ based on gamma ray burst and it says, consider the following statements regarding gamma ray burst. In this, you have to identify the correct statements. Statement 1, the energy associated with gamma ray burst is many times than our sun will emit an entire lifetime. The second statement says, the long gamma ray burst are associated with the demise of massive stars only. In this question, the statement 1 is correct as the energy associated with gamma ray burst is many times than our sun will emit an entire lifetime. And the second statement is incorrect as traditionally the long gamma ray burst are associated with the demise of massive stars only. But this theory has been quashed by a recent discovery in which the radiations emerging from the merger of neutron stars or any binary system was associated with short gamma ray burst. So the answer to this question is A which is 1 only and the answer to the previous year question is B which is gravitational waves.